and uh, heading over the Howard Franklin Bridge in uh, Tampa, between Tampa and St. Petersburg. And uh, now I just want to I just want to bring your attention to the sky again today. Now uh, I didn't see these contrails, camp trails, alien. Uh, Yuckity, yuckity, bloppity, but I don't know what it is, but look, but look, look, just look. Okay? Now, you can see, when you see those wispy light clouds, wispy, uh, what's the opposite of the word dense? Whatever the opposite of the word dense is. Those wispy clouds, right? Dispersed, baby. Those wispy, dispersed clouds, and, and clearly you can see lines, right? With a lot of X, not, maybe not a lot of X's, but some X's. I gotta be careful there, careful there, because I'm careful here, because I'm driving, so I can't move the camera. I can't move the uh, camera around too much, because I, I can't even look and see what I'm pointing at, because I'm watching the road, so, and all these crazy drivers. But there are some X's. I can see them. I hope you can see them. They're not uh, super consistent. There are no uh, checkerboard patterns. There are no stitch stitching patterns like there are sometimes but there are some X's and there's some straight lines in that now my theory here today my theory if you look around here my theory is that this sky today would be perfectly clear were it not for these chemtrail contrails that's my theory so that's pretty profound in my opinion that's pretty profound that you've got some artificial, mechanical, industrial, human engineered effect or cause completely marring up the sky in, you know, in, in a region as big as, we'll just say Tampa Bay. I'm not at the north end of the county. I'm not at the south end of the county. I'm not at the east and west extremities. I'm just, you know, where I am. So I can only see, but by, by appearances, it looks like the entirety of Tampa Bay to me. So, and everybody's just driving around and nobody even, even thinks anything of it. Everybody just thinks these are clouds. These are not clouds. Those, I mean, those are, are clearly trails uh, left and, and people, you might scoff at that, but, ha and I might, I might be scoffing at it. Had I not seen the other day, the trails being laid, I was actually watching uh, airplanes lay these trails, uh, you know, and when I first started watching, there was maybe 20 of them. Then by the time I got to work, there might have been 50, 50 excuse me, 50. They laid about nine or 10 in parallel formation heading north and south. And then by the time I got to work, or let's see, or then shortly, uh, shortly after I noticed them, they started laying the crosshatch patterns. So, um, yeah, I mean, this, this, it's the entire, it's the entire sky, you know? I mean, over there, it's totally white. Now, is, does that mean that, uh, that those are clouds? Well, like that on the horizon, too. It's totally, totally white. Does that, does that mean it's clouds? Or does that mean that the natural air currents have pushed all of the contrails together? You know, like into a sort of compress them together together or is it white on the horizon because of uh, you know uh, perspective you know you see that the, the, you know if you, if you have if you have a lot of parallel lines uh, going uh, laterally in front of you like um, parallel to say the line that your eyes make right whatever that would be considered lateral I guess as those lines go off into the distance uh, you can see the spaces between them less and less and they became it just becomes more or less a solid uh, and I just missed my turn off uh, a solid uh, you know color or presence of whatever color the lines are made of so anyway I don't know if, you, if that makes sense to you but but I believe that is true with respect to the issue of perspective so is that why on the horizon, both in front and to the left, it's total whiteness? I, I don't know why it's total whiteness. Is it low, uh, you know, low cloud cover over there? But over here, it's these weird 
lines, uh, plane, uh, airplane, whatever. I mean, I'm sure nobody out here thinks anything about this. I mean, and like I said, I wouldn't either, except I've been seeing some things here and there about uh, Kim Charles. I didn't really think anything of it. And, you know, you see them, you see them being laid down, and, uh, you know, it makes you think. So, anyway, people are getting crazy out here, so I got to go. All right, folks, just thought I'd make this little video for you. Bye.